Hey guys, welcome back to AdLib Talk, and this is my review for Judas and the Black Messiah. Judas and the Black Messiah is a biographical drama which tells the story of the betrayal of Fred Hampton, who had been the chairman of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party in the late 1960s at the hands of William O'Neill, who happened to be an FBI informant. It has a star-studded cast, uh, including famous actors like Daniel Kaluuya, Lakeith Stanfield, Jesse Plemons, Dominique Fishback, and also Martin Sheen, and is directed by the up-and-coming star director Shaka King. But before we start with this review, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoy it, and please do consider subscribing. Those are the two main ways you can help support my channel here uh, on AdLib Talk. Cheers, and let's get right into that review. So it's the late 1960s, and William O'Neill, a car thief, is using his usual method of showing a fake FBI badge to steal cars. Things go awry for him, and he ends up facing prison time. And this leads him to being recruited into the FBI by Agent Roy Mitchell, who gives him the job of infiltrating the Black Panthers and getting into Hampton's close circle so that he could be able to report sort of the activities that the Black Panther Party were planning to do or things they had already done. Uh, and so we start to see Hampton's uh, various actions as leader of the Illinois uh, Black Panther section. Uh, he forms alliances with other gangs, sort of organizes the Free Breakfast for Children program. Uh, we also see him use the incredible oratory skills he's so well known for um, trying to recruit people to their cause. Um, we also get to see Hampton uh, in a, start a new romance with another Panther uh, member. Her name was Deborah Johnson. This is the premise for the story, and this is definitely a fascinating tale to tell. As we see O'Neill sort of try to get closer and closer with uh, Hampton, and we see the struggles that he faces in his allegiances. The performances in this movie are impressive indeed. Daniel Kaluuya as Hampton was great casting. His Hampton is passionate. He is a magnetic force who will dominate the screen whenever he is there. Uh, as expected last night, he did win the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor, as I had predicted. Uh, his performance is incredibly dynamic here. At one point he's fiery, then he's brooding, then he's caring. Uh, it's so dynamic and very multifaceted uh, and very multi-layered performance here. Props to Kaluuya for his uh, incredibly charismatic and dominating performance. William O'Neill is our window into Hampton and actor Lakeith Stanfield uh, also gives us a very good performance. Uh, his was not an easy act to perform, mind you. Uh, after all, O'Neill is the one who is betraying Hampton. He is, well, a slick manipulator. Uh, he's skilled at lying and thinking on the spot. Uh, however, we start, sort of slowly, slowly start to note that uh, O'Neill himself was sort of falling for Hampton's natural charisma and oratory skills. Uh, and we could see the respect building in O'Neill for Hampton. Uh, Stanfield showcases all of this uh, very successfully, very nuanced manner, uh, and he's never too unlikable in a way that we understand the horrible situation he is in. And I found myself sometimes actually empathizing with O'Neill himself. Uh, the movie is ultimately a tragedy, and a tragedy both for Hampton and for O'Neill, for different reasons, mind you. On the other hand, the rest of the performances are pretty okay. I thought Dominique Fishback gives us a decent performance as the love interest, nothing too special there, um, but still showcases how she, her character was an integral member of the Black Panthers. Martin Sheen, on the other hand, as Hoover, is a little comic uh, at times, does seem to overdo it a little bit, but still quite enjoyable to watch. Um, it is here that I must mention that you should never, never, ever get your history from the movies, guys. Please make sure you do your proper research about topics hot topics like this, for example, uh, and don't take 
what a movie tells you as fact. Movies are made for enjoying them. They're made to talk about a, a topic that the director and the writer would be passionate about. And obviously they are biased. So make sure you get your history from the history books, not from movies. Um, tangent aside, movie has a lot of very strong moments. At one point, members of the Black Panther Party start to suspect O'Neill as betraying them and ask them to sort of prove himself. So uh, this is an incredibly, incredibly tense moment in this movie, which almost had me shaking in my seat. Kaluuya's speeches are also very powerful moments, very inspirational and, and very entertaining, uh, and the ending is truly tragic. It is all shot beautifully, which makes this powerful movie also a very, very, very enjoyable watch, and very, very beautiful movie to watch as well. The movie itself deals with a lot of relevant questions we are still talking about today, unfortunately. It deals with the questions of reform versus revolution, for example. It obviously deals with racial injustice, betrayal, violence as a political tool, as well as police violence, uh, injustice, and so on. This movie deals with all of this in a very nuanced and very interesting manner, very also fair way, in my opinion. However, I did enjoy it most as a riveting dual character study. On one hand, you have the Messiah, a wonderful, charismatic figure. On the other hand, you have the Judas, who is just trying to fit in with the Panthers at the end of the day, but who deep down knows that he is the one essentially betraying them. It is very fascinating, truly fascinating, and what really makes this movie work. The issues with a movie like this is that Either it gets too bogged down with telling the story and ignores trying to make you care for its characters or the complete opposite. And I think here that director Shaka King has achieved a, a balance, a nice balance of history with character and sort of character development. Uh, and it all works so, so well, guys. Believe me, this is well worth the watch. He has helped quite a bit by the excellent cinematography by Sean Bobbitt, as well as masterful editing by Kristen Sprague. All this, like I said, is very, very good stuff. My final piece of praise here has to be the soundtrack, which was also very good. One of my favorite tunes here is Welcome to America, a wonderful tune which deals with the struggle for racial equality, as is What It Feels Like by Nipsey Hussle and Jay-Z. It makes a fantastic listen and well worth the LP I will most probably be purchasing very soon. With regard to negatives, I really don't feel like there is much I can say, except for I think it's a quite a weak take on Hoover. Uh, I felt like Martin Sheen went a bit too Disney villain here in his attempts to show just how horrible a person Hoover actually had been. Uh, and unfortunately, for me at least personally, it did become a bit too much, um, but Usually I enjoy it when actors go an extra crazy in their role. It just didn't work for me here. But that's just a minor, minor uh, point I didn't like about this movie, which, as you can tell, I really, really enjoyed. Overall, I think Judas and the Black Messiah is an excellent, excellent movie, which successfully tells the tale of two very different characters, Fred Hampton and William O'Neill, whose lives end up becoming intertwined due to a sequence of events which would eventually lead to the incredible climax of this movie, which is horrific to watch. Not scared to showcase the horrific violence of this period, Shaka King has given us what is, in my opinion, one of the best movies of the year already uh, and uh, early contender for best movie. Definite, obviously, contender for best supporting actor, as we saw already. And in fact, it did win that Golden Globe. Um, Daniel Kaluuya, Lakeith Stanfield were absolutely brilliant. There are two great performances there. Um, overall, this is a good, good movie. Great movie, actually that gets a well-deserved 4.5 out of 5 and my highest of recommendations. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out other video reviews and other videos on my channel to get more about the latest movies and video games. Cheers, and I'll see you guys next time right here on AdLibTalk.